Hello everyone, this is Sarah from Defection Gaming doing a Sarah looks at Plague Inc. Now, what this is doing is you are taking control of a different type of plague, virus, or bacteria, and your only sole goal is to wipe out mankind. Now, this um, is still in early access, so there is lots of core features which aren't really available yet such as speed runs, official scenarios and custom scenarios and things which aren't available. What is available is the main game. Now in the main game you can choose between bacteria, virus, fungus, norx, worm, parasite, prion, nanovirus, bioweapon um, and uh, those are the main normal plagues. The other immune plague, hidden plague and unlimited plague are sort of cheat um, plagues that I, I'm not really interested in. Norax Worm, there's a small bug at the moment which even if you complete it, it doesn't show here. Um, even though it shows in the achievements, but that's fine. Um, the only plague I haven't to unlock is the Nectora virus, which isn't quite available yet, and I believe that's the zombie virus. So, that's quite interesting. Um, I'm gonna just uh, pick uh, bacteria to show you essentially how how the the game works. Now, to start off, you get to pick um, sort of five power-ups for your um, for your gene, for your little bacteria, for your virus. So you have five little power strength things. Now, um, I've got surge, oops, Daisy, and Darwinist, which means I mutate more, which means that I'll get potential skills and symptoms randomly without needing to spend any of the points that you've got to earn by murdering and infecting people to get it. I've got um, Tetrasile, which is, increases my spread of plague over land. I've got Extremophile, which means all of the different lands I get a small bonus to um, going across them. And I've got Ionized here, which means bonus DNA while devolving. When you devolve, you gain extra bonus points, uh, unless you're specific types of um, viruses or plagues uh, and that combo as well I think with Darwinist because towards the end I'll want to mutate more and get random symptoms but at the beginning I don't and I'll want to devolve them um, but anyway that's that and there are several different things like creationist your plague doesn't mutate your plague's hard to cure plague can mutate transmissions but it's easier to cure and plague can mutate abilities is easier to cure and i'll go through all these different sort of mechanics as we go through i'm going to play on normal casual um it has a lovely little description here of each of the difficulty settings for new players or those wanting a quick game no one washes their hands research doctors don't work sick people are given hugs uh, for experienced genetic strategists, 67.3% of people wash their hands, doctors work three days a week, and sick people are ignored. Uh, brutal, uh, compulsive hand washing, doctors never go home, and sick people are locked in prison. Uh, mega brutal, genetic drift impacts evolution, which means it's harder to evolve your things. Doctors invest in research and random medical checks for people. So, I'm going to stick with normal, and I'm going to stick with the ginger gene as my... Uh, Actually, no, I won't. Ginger, because I am ginger, so that was relatively funny for me. But I'll, um, Justin Bieber. I don't know if that's how you spell his name entirely correctly, but I'm not 100%. I don't really care that much. Uh, welcome to Plague Inc. You are a new bacteria to win you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. One thing I don't like... Uh, is that there is no option at the moment to turn off tips, so you'll always get the same tips. But it is nice to have a sort of pause every now and then, but you're able to pause with the spacebar anyway. Uh, select a country to begin your play. When you, click on it, you can, when you click on it, you can see more information. Pop the start bubble to confirm, or click another country instead. Now, I am going to start India because I haven't started in India for a while. I like India because it's got a big population. Um, and it's easy to spread. Justin Bieber begins in India. Justin Bieber has infected his first human, weak and unused to hot temperatures. It must evolve during DNA points to inflict more people. Infect, not inflict, dear me. Um, so this is the world map. And as you can see, there are 
every, most countries in the world are disentangled. You've got things like Central Europe, I think here, uh, and the and uh, each country has its own strengths and weaknesses. So uh, you pop orange DNA bubbles, DNA bubbles to get extra points. So in Central Europe, as you can see up here, uh, is a rich country. It's humid and it's cold. So that is the um, so that's the things that your virus can use to attack that particular country. As here, you'll have borders, air and sea. And uh, in, in Central Europe, there are no ports or, or airports. Uh, so they don't have land and sea, but it does have borders. So that can only be spread by land infection or by people traveling there with specific viruses. And as you can see, uh, here we'll show the percentage of people that are infected in the whole in that country. And then you've got the infected total number and the number that have died. Um, from your illness. Uh, as you can see at the moment, in India, it's humid, it's hot, and it's rural. So, you can see that it also has borders, sea and air as ways to transmit, and it's got that tiny little bit there of the infected bar. And that bar will go black when people start dying. So as you go, keep forward now. I tend to play on max speed, because I'm impatient. Justin Bieber begins to spread. Justin Bieber is spreading from person to person in India and will grow exponentially. You control the plague indirectly by evolving it. So you sort of evolve it to specialise it against certain things. For example, if you started down here and most of this area of the world was taken over, you can move up here with different abilities to fight it. So now we'll go into evolving your disease. Now this is the main menu by which you can see the perks that you had at the beginning, your start date, and different things such as your average infections, your daily infections, your things here, and your trend graph here. And your three bars of infectivity, which means how far it is to spread. Severity, meaning how dangerous you are to the populace. Um, and lethality is how deadly you are. And severity infects how fast the authorities will try and cure you. And that's what the... Um, and, and I'll explain that in a minute. There are three different things, transmission, symptoms, and abilities that you need to go forward. Um, in transmissions, it's fully focused on spreading your disease. And when you get to the top levels of some, um, you, get a, you get a bonus to your infections. Now, here we've got uh, gives Pathion ability to travel on dust particles, increases infectivity, especially in arid environments and plain transmission. And we've also got water, which is, can survive outside the body in fresh warm water, increasing infectivity, especially in humid environments, which is what we are. So that's what we're going to click on and evolve first with nine of our points. And then it obviously goes up to number two, which um, makes it easier for us to spread through ships and, e and easier to, even further to inflect, infect through um, humid countries. Now, I tend to go the air and water route and get the super version of air and water, which will help spread it very, very fast. Um, there are also bonuses, uh, there are things like bird transmission, land transmission becomes easier, and it increases your mutation chance. And you have a small mutation chance, I don't, I don't think I can see a mutation percentage uh, per day, but you have a small percentage each day to mutate a symptom unless you have something which means you can uh, a perk from the beginning screen that I showed you which means you can evolve transmissions or abilities um, so you will only ever mutate symptoms unless specifically you, you don't uh, and there are all these different transmissions sort of like as I said in, in spread spread by land um, spread in urban regions spread in rural regions spread in hot climates and spread in or regions. So these are the different things that you have um, for transmissions. Now we'll go to the abilities area, uh, which is easy to see. Uh, you've got hot and cold, so if it increases your uh, temperature uh, resistance in either of these climates. You've got the um, resistant to class 1 and 2 antibiotics, increases effectiveness in wealthy countries. And up here you've got the uh, uh, version 2, which makes that stronger for wealthy countries. So that's sort of a, it's not transmission, it just means wealthy countries are easier to hit. 
um, and also this increases exponentially down here to make it harder to cure your disease which is very important and here is the special ability for each virus or bacteria type thing this is different for every type now this one in creates bacterial shelter against against protect against all climates so it's hot and cold so I ignore them and get level three of this when necessary unless it's near the end of the game and I desperately need to spread in Greenland and as you'll play this game you'll understand how Greenland is a pain in your ass um, this is the symptoms page um, and each symptom will each symptom will give you either infectivity, severity, or lethality. Um, your severity will go up with almost every symptom, unless there's one which decreases severity rating. I don't think there is one. Um, I believe your severity will go up with every single symptom. Um, and the severity, as I said before, is how close you are to get cured. Uh, infectivity, chance to cure, so it makes it harder for you to, for enemies to cure you and lethality is what you get out of your symptoms and the basic basic strategy of this game is to spread as far and as wide as you possibly can as quickly as you can and have a lot of dna points saved up in order to wreck the civilian population once you have infected almost everyone on the planet um, so enough with just this endless explanation let's show you in in um practice now you also get these fun extra messages with news flashes brilliant mobile game plaguing from endemic creations which is their original um, game uh, no less uh, is a huge viral success gamers would worldwide are giving it rave reviews so that's sort of like a fun little nod to themselves you've successfully evolved justin bieber you have spent dna points to evolve your disease and more options have opened up get more points by popping dna and biohazard bubbles and infecting people you get the biohazard bubbles every time, the red ones every time you infect a new country, and the orange ones come around every now and then. Now I've got a perk which increases my infectivity, uh, which increases my points every time I get one of the red bubbles. So the faster I spread, the more points I'll have quickly, quickly, which is useful. Uh, to find out more about a country, click on them and you can find out more. 12 points. Uh, I'll go into transmission and get air one. Just the effect hundreds. Effect hundreds in India increasing the chance that infected people will infect healthy people. Keep evolving the disease. I I Captain. So as you get more people, it will start to jump up in terms of people, and you'll start to get more and more points for it. Justin Bieber infects thousands, we're now in thousands. Uh, and now I believe we can get more to two, which is what we want. Evolve that there. Going. Because it's not a rich country, we don't need to evolve um, any kind of uh, drug resistance yet. We just need to keep in spreading and infecting them. There we go. Justin Bieber spreads to Pakistan. And there, up oh, there we go. But red DNA bubbles to get DNA points. So we've infected all of these countries now. Justin Bieber's infected all countries. So now all around here we'll start getting points. More infectious than TB now, which is lucky. Amnesia symptom mutated, right, that increases severity by quite a bit, so what we'll do is we'll devolve that for extra DNA points, because we don't want to have it at severe severity yet, we want to keep devolving, stay under the global radar, and get ready to crush the world at 19, that was enough for this, I believe, on hope 70. And now we'll get pathogen bypass air water filters due to airplane adap adaptive cellular shell, increase infectivity, especially in humid and arid climates, and plane ship transmission. So, it makes certain climates much weaker to us, which is what we want. Uh, but what I need to do now is upgrade drug resistance because we've now spread to rich countries like the UK. So we'll do that. So they, aha, now we're on planes, we're jetting all the way across the world able to do some dangerous things. Uh, 20 points I believe for 21 should do for there we go. Extreme bioherosol. Bio aerosol, there we go. So now the enemies will be 
very much screwed. Now I'm going to focus on the cellular shell for the bacterium. And I'll just pause the game quickly and get them up. And I'm going to, as I said, focus on the cellular shell um, by upgrading that. So I'll be able to spread in all climates. I'm starting to spread like mad ever since I got that extreme bio aerosol. It is a really strong ability. And the world isn't trying to cure me yet. And as you can see down here, the um, cure rating will go up and up and up. When it hits 100, your thing will be wiped out in a matter of hours. So you be very careful. More effective than the common cold, which is nice. Coughing symptom. We'll get coughing symptom because that infect. Yeah, as you can see, I'll show you. Uh, it says symptoms. Um, chance of infection by spreading pathogens surrounded, especially in high density urban areas. So it makes it more likely that our bacteria will spread. That's what we want. Now, where in the world is safe? Greenland, Sweden, and the Baltics are the three places where we haven't infected yet. Everywhere else is infected by us. And as you can see, the, the Baltic states, there and there, are all cold environments. So what I'll do is I'll upgrade cellular shell and one level of cold to be able to grab those. When I do have those states, I'll be able to. And these ones are the problem at the moment, because as you can see, uh, down here is completely and utterly taken over by our disease. And how we spread to Greenland. There we go completely taken by our disease, so uh, all festival of love in Norway, nausea symptom mutated, now what I'll do is I'll devolve that, because that is, uh, will get us noticed, and we don't want to be noticed yet, because the world hasn't spotted that we're here, ah uh, there we go, look at Russia go, bye bye Russia, you have been well and truly infected. So this is what you want to do. You want to. This is this is how I play. Basically, you won't. You don't get massive scores, but you will beat the game if you evolve like this. If you evolve slowly and carefully and securely, it's very hard for the world to react to you. As you can see, all these. Ah uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, Sweden is starting to be taken. Excellent. No problem about that. We still got Greenland and Canada as two trouble spots. Uh, Iceland is also a bit of a trouble spot. Trouble, so troublesome in fact, and I've got so many points that I actually put a second level of cold. I'll also make it harder to cure at the moment. Um, procrastinators claim misery plague is real. Protesters in India urge government to investigate the mystery plague in their community despite doctors not finding any evidence of ill health. Cysts. No, we don't want cysts. The doctors are ignoring us. So we do not want any extra cysts. Canada's starting to go. Madagascar starts working a cure. But I believe it's too late. Because I think I've got enough points to just jump right in. Ah, ha, ha. I'm starting to get Canada's gone. It's Greenland and Iceland that are my stumbling blocks. But they seem be going. There we go. Yes. Really taking them now. Alright, there we go. When this hits, we should get the message. There are no more healthy people left in the world. So, let's start evolving transmissions. Now, the way I like to go is, um, Here, and then down here can be fatal when combined with exercise. Then here to total organ failure, which really impacts on um, lethality. It really impacts. Involve that, and down here, which is also another fun, um, which is uh, preventing blood clotting. Uh, but this is what you want: is a nice another secondary boost for not very much points at all in terms of lethality. So we've got a nice. 
third of the way up in the lethality stakes already. So now, as we click this OK button, and we click off, it just be Venus Revolt to Kill, I just have. Now we should start seeing people die. New minor diseases spreading, too late. First death in Norway, we've killed 84,000, 200,000, 500,000, 1 million, 3 million, 4 million. Just start, keep going up and up and up. Fight the cure. Now, as the leading global cure effort will start flying around, and you need to pop the blue bubbles to stop the cure speeding up. Kill more than the Black Death in days. 111 million. World research is focused on a cure. Kill more than the Spanish flu. Their cure will not keep up because when we get to a certain, we get points by killing people. That's how you get points at the end game. As you can see now, my points are starting to sky. Which means when we get to about that, then we go to symptoms. We go up this road. And here, uh, around here, are some extra lethality and increases the difficulty to cure us. Which is what we really want. Because that cure is quite going up to 25 points, so... Systemic infection symptom mutated. Now we're getting points in infection that we want. And now it's a race between us and the cure. To make it harder for them to cure us. And look at where the world's population is. Decimated all these poor people. Let's make it even harsher for them in their final days. Right, we'll have this. Random brain tumours. We'll have... What's that brain tumours? Random blockouts and fits reduce the patient's ability to function independently can be fatal. We'll give them seizures. We'll also give them internal hemorrhaging. And we'll also give them homorphic shock. If we get 33 points before they all die. Less than a billion people left. 500 million. Let's ruin their cure effort. They are to 45%. Not bad. And we'll just watch them burn. That is, that is, it is kind of, the one thing about this game is it does make me question my sanity. Because I do sit there planning how best to murder all of mankind. It does make me feel a bit of a harsh ass, to be perfectly honest. But I'm sure they deserved it. All that emissions and things. As you can see, Justin Bieber to destroy humanity. <laughs> Justin Bieber has destroyed the world despite the world's best efforts. The last few humans know they're watching the end of history. And then that's the end of that. Justin Bieber has effectively eliminated all life on Earth. Well, that sounds about right. It took 698 days, which is quite a long time, because we focused on the strategy of you're, you're going to win, but you won't get massive, massive scores. And obviously it's on normal difficulty, and the cure was able to go really, really far because I didn't pay much attention to it, and it spiked to 30% without me paying much attention. But it's a nice, safe little strategy to do on normal. Sort of build up your play with the devolve every symptom to make sure that you're able to punch them in the face as soon as you get strong enough which is really what we want to do uh, in terms of unlocking all the viruses because that's all you need to do to unlock a virus or unlock the new power is to play a game as say uh, is as bacteria I would then unlock the next in the line which is virus and then I'd need to win a game with virus to unlock fungus and keep going up apart from Narax worm which was all the way up here um, it's just interesting and you get to learn a lot about the different diseases you also get to do things like use bioweapons against humanity and do f fun different things and obviously all the little um, transtasis I've now fully unlocked everything in terms of these Thank you very much for watching all the different genes I have. Transmission costs don't increase, but are easier to cure. So it's it's much faster to spread your disease, but it's easier to cure. So that could be quite an interesting thing to have. Um, I don't know. I'd probably have... Um, probably 
cyanized helix. I like that one. But it's more... It's, it's quite a lot of different little things. Like, as you can see, ATP, but you get more DNA at the beginning. Um, you pop the orange bubbles to get more surges, and there are certain viruses which give you more orange bubbles that pop up, because they aren't that many. I think there are much more red bubbles in the game. So, and metabolic jump is the more you infect, the bigger pool of DNA points you'll get maybe 20 or 30 extra uh, in the whole over the whole course of the game I, I reckon roughly with this metabolic jump which will give you crucially a couple of extra transmission skills or that little bit of extra kick at the right time to spread across all of humanity which is quite good uh, get bonus DNA from popping blue cure bubbles now this is for like the long sustained game against humanity and metabolic hijack which is orange and red bubbles are automatically popped for you which is sort of like easy as I said this is all the different Darwinist things you've got the uh, different ways to spread uh, if you really want to start with things um, you've got increased infectivity in your starting country uh, give your plague of minor bonus in all environments so it's just sort of you you can tailor your plague to be the best possible thing it can be and I have attempted games in Brutal and Mega Brutal I have not won a game in Mega Brutal but I've won one in Brutal but um, obviously this being in in early alpha uh, release of the game it is available on Steam for 11.99 however I will I'm saying I'm very much enjoying it and it is very fun and I spent maybe four five hours with a couple of my friends ripping humanity a new one uh, a few um, a few days ago which was really fun um, and we came up with funny names Justin Bieber came up in that session and um, it's just it's just it's it, it, it's, it's quite a, it's a single player game but if you play with people coming around it can be quite sociable uh, but also it is a lot of fun to wreck humanity and I'm certain that when the speed runs and other things are in the game more then you'll be able to have more fun and especially if there are like global leaderboards and things for some people who are competitive um, uh, in my opinion it's expensive for an early alpha um, but it is pretty much the full game and they are updating things every now and then I mean I um, got the game maybe a week ago and there have been I think two maybe three patches to the game since then to make it better so it is good it is they are working on it they are fixing little glitches they are making things better um, and uh, they, they want the game to be a success I mean it was a success on the mobile platform and it just depends whether PC users are willing to pay that little extra money to make it to, to, to play a more detailed and interesting game and as you saw you can do horrible things like make the world have total organ failure make everyone on the planet have a cyst it's it's really quite you could be quite cruel to humanity and and it's got that sort of strange kind of south park kind of cruel funny humor in the in the oh i'm gonna infect the world with justin bieber and his music will give people cysts and thing it's just it's just it's, it's, it's got its own sort of warped sense of humour and fun. But it is very, very fun. I mean, I'm enjoying it immensely. Um, even as an early access game, I think it's fantastic. I think when, when all the features are done, it will be worth the nearly nearest makes a difference £12 price tag. Um, it will be worth that. Um, at the moment, I would study the game carefully by watching videos I might put a couple of runs on just to show you because that was just a basic run um, on bacteria uh, I might, I'll probably show other things I'd, I'd really observe the game before you buy it at this early stage um, but later on down the line when it's fully comes out with all its features and all the leaderboards and the and the speed runs and all those sorts of things uh, and the different viruses and all those sorts of things that they've promised to, to put new ones in. I mean, the zombie virus, I can't wait to play that. Um, that would be so much fun. Uh, essentially, the, with all the different things that they're going to add, uh, I think it will be very much worth the £12. But at the moment, as I said, err on the side of caution because it's early access. So, you know, 
be prepared. Like there are the few tiny little bugs like the Narax worm won't show that I've actually completed it with it. But it says in the achievements I have kind of thing. But um, you just need they just need to polish a couple of little things. But those little things, as I said, are being polished and they're working on it. So essentially I'm saying this game I'm gonna give uh, an 8 out of 10. Because I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, I found it very surprising how fun it was working with someone else to play it. I mean, that's just such a laugh. Um, coming up with funny names for each other to play and all those sorts of things. And it's, 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 it's got the extra complexity of like the gene modifications and things and different ways you can do the skills and things and, and the mutations. It is interesting and it's fun. I mean, I, I'm waffling on at the end, but honestly, it, it, I, I, this is a, definitely a thumbs up game. It is a fantastic um, bit of fun. And uh, if you enjoyed what you've seen, then I would encourage you to research it a little bit more before you bought it because it's an early access. But if it has come out already, and this is a video which is a couple of months old, uh, then and it's the, all the features are out, then if you've enjoyed what you've seen, I do. Um, I do support buying it. I think it's I think it's a great laugh, and I've spent more on this than I've spent on some AAA titles as of yet. So you know. It's it's good. It, it it it's got its little niche audience of, of people who are slightly sadistic, to be perfectly honest. But I'm a sadist, and and it's a good old laugh. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've been Sarah from Defection Game. I hope you've enjoyed my Sarah Let's Look at Plague Incorporated, and um, I hope to see you infecting humanity in the future. See you guys. <laughs>